All right, what's going on guys? So I'm coming at you guys with some breaking news right now and it just broke I think about an hour ago but the Jaguars have signed running back Thomas Rawls to a future contract. So uh, now we have him under the, under the helm. Now there's going to be a lot of conversation about the Jaguars running back room uh, over the next year just because TJ Yellen going to be a free agent. Uh, Corey Grant's going to be a free agent and you know most people don't expect to re-sign TJ Yeldon. Definitely don't expect that. And when it comes to Corey Grant, I don't think the Jaguars will re-sign just because he doesn't fit well with our offense. Unfortunately, we don't know how to use him, so there's going to be an offense out there that really does know how to, that will be able to utilize him, like whether it be the Chiefs or Patriots, something like that. I mean, uh, some kind of spread system will really be able to utilize him if you put him out in space. So, uh, And there's another question about, really, Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde, I think, is going to be cut. If we cut him, we save about $5.4 million, so... Uh, we traded a fifth round pick for him last season when we thought we were in win now mode, uh, but we did nothing but lose. So that will go down as one of the worst con or one of the worst trades in Jaguars history. So, I mean, really the question is about Leonard Fournette. Now I'll probably make a video about Leonard Fournette later tonight, just about, uh, what's going to go on with him. Uh, just because obviously it was a down year for him and there's a lot of off field stuff there's you know when it comes to injuries and really just how good is he so uh, i'll make a video more about him tonight but uh really this thomas rolls i mean it doesn't mean too too much for me one interesting thing is that you know one of the leading candidates or at least one of the offensive coordinators that the jaguars have interviewed uh daryl ravel i believe you pronounce his name um you know thomas rolls most productive season was under uh this offense coordinator back in 2015 well when he was with the seahawks so um, that'll be interesting to see if there's any kind of connection there. I know per 1010XL, they were supposed to be interviewing uh, Munkin today. So uh, that'll be interesting. But really, I mean, this this, this doesn't really mean too, too much for me. Um, I think it just kind of confirms that Carlos Hyde will most likely be cut. I mean, this is a cheap running back. You know, I would expect, uh, you know, right now it's looking like probably Leonard Fournette will be there, Thomas Rawls. And uh, right now we have Dave Williams on the roster. Uh, we'll see if he's safe and I could see us maybe drafting a guy in free agents or in the draft but i mean really uh with this guy i figured they're gonna sign a cheap free agent just because you know i know alfred blue from the houston texans i thought there was a good chance he might have been the jaguars but um you know now we get this guy instead so you know news don't really mean too too much to me but we did sign this guy and uh we'll see what the running back room looks like going forward because it's going to be um, a lot of mix up, a lot of really conversation about what's going to happen, especially with number 27. So yeah, I'll probably come at you guys tonight with a Leonard Fournette video and hope you guys are all having a great day and I'm out.